today I'm going around and I'm filming the accommodations and a campus tour of each of the campuses because it's exactly what I wanted when I came to uni. So I actually also have my own YouTube channel, I've done that pretty consistently over the last year. It's mainly a creative outlet for me but I'm doing this today filming on campus because it's exactly what I needed. When I was going to Hope I went straight to YouTube to see if there were any past students, their experiences, I wanted to get a bit of the accommodation, see what it was like. That's why I'm here, I'm making this to try and help like future students um, so yeah hopefully they can get a bit more of a feel of the campus if they can't come and visit. So I knew what I wanted, I wasn't fussed about an ensuite, I just wanted like a nice looking room because you spend a lot of time in your own room so I wanted to I wanted to see what it was like and so I was lucky enough because I don't live too far away I could come and have a look around the halls um, I ended up living in a shared accommodation um, which was completely fine like people stress about having an ensuite honestly it's it's not the end of the world if you don't have an ensuite our bathrooms are cleaned every weekday which was insane I lived in halls in my first year I was actually in the Oscar Romero halls and I was in a flat of all girls, so it could have been a bit a bit funky, but it really wasn't. Everyone was very respectful of each other, and to, towards the start of our time there, we kind of all sat down and said, what are, our, what are our expectations? What do we want from each other? What do we not want from each other? Um, and so if something was going wrong, we could kind of all group back together, and we were a unit together. We were looking after each other, all experiencing a whole new life for the first time. It is hard moving out, you're, you're setting your own routines, you're doing things for the first time that you've never done before. Um, but if I can give you one piece of advice, it's just go for it. Like You learn so much living in halls, you learn to tolerate other people significantly more than you ever thought you would. Um, and you also learn that sleep schedules aren't a thing when you're in uni very easily. Um, but yeah, living in halls is a great experience. If you're picking a halls, just, just go for what you what you're used to maybe something closer to home whether it's really modern or a bit more rustic and unique um, if you want the ensuite go for an ensuite if you don't care don't go for it um, halls are nice it's good to live in halls but really what makes it is the people it doesn't really matter where you're living um, you are just going to find people that you get on with either in your halls or away from your halls you actually might not spend too much time there anyway um, but yeah don't stress about Oh, I've got to be in this one particular room. You don't really, it doesn't make that much of a difference to your uni life. Um, if you're on campus, that's great in the first place. Of course, I'd recommend studying at Hope. I love it here. It's where I feel most at home. It wasn't this big, scary place to go to university. It still feels very small, very personable, which I love in a university. I just love it in community. Um, yeah, I'd 100% recommend studying at Hope. The people I've met here are incredible and in a big, big university, I probably would have missed those people because there's so many more people to talk to. Whereas because it's smaller, you do have those one-on-one -on -one relationships with your lecturers, with your tutors, with your classmates. Um, and yeah, I'd 100% recommend studying at Hope a little bit. So make the most of it, enjoy yourself. Um, yeah, just make the most of living on campus. You only have a year of it.